Yeah, delighted with his, uh, the way he's come out of his gallop this morning. Preparation to the arc now. Um, uh, it's more importantly, is, is, is how he came out of um, St. Ledger. And, you know, that's for me, that was the, the key part to his uh, participation uh, into, the, into the arc. Um, physically, um, he just showed his wellness um, after the St. Ledger, probably, if anything, better than his previous two starts being in the, in the Irish Derby and the, uh, and the Grand Prix de Paris. So, um, up to, up, yeah, he's done his first bit of work back from the St. Ledger there on, on last Saturday. Again, easy work, very pleased with it. Did a bit of, bit of you know, stronger stuff this week and uh, yeah, shows, shows all the right signs. And um, he's exciting. Firstly, to be uh, you know, the first participating in the 100th run of the, of the arc, but more importantly, you know, he could create history himself there, being the first horse to, uh, to win the St. Ledger and then go on to win an arc. Um, ever since there, I say everything's there to suit him. Grounds, obviously, as we know, looks as though it's going to be a, a wet forecast this weekend, uh, and that will play into his strengths. Firstly, he loves he loves the soft ground, and, and secondly, if it comes to uh, a war of attrition at the, at the you know towards the finish, there, there's one thing this horse will do: he won't lie down. And uh, you know we've seen him win over the mile and six there uh, in the St. Ledger, so um, he'll be doing it all the uh, he'll be doing it all right at the business end, as they say. Drawn two uh, in a 15 runner field in the arc there. Um, as we know, uh, you know, you've got to go through all the stats uh, on, on, on good ground. Sing, uh, you know, your, your single figures numbers are, are the ones you want ideally. In soft ground, it takes it into, uh, you know, so it's an open field. It all depends on, you know, you've got pace throughout the field, really. You've got pace down on the inside, potentially. You've got Mojo Star down there. You've got Alan Carr and, and uh, you know, in the middle. You've got the Japanese horse there, out in Dawn 14, who, you know, can go forward. So, um, I think that it's actually going to be something we just have to leave to the jocks on the day is, uh, you know, where, where the pace angle is going to be. It'll be, uh, <laughs> but I've always been a believer, let the guys do the, let, let, let them do the steering and work it all out once those gates open. We can all come up with great master plans, but when it's going to be, one imagine soft ground, that, uh, that would completely open. You throw the book out the out the door there and let, 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 the, let the guys and the horses do the uh, do the rest of the work. I think you probably see from his characteristics over the door. Um, you know, he, as uh, you know, people have said, uh, asked me the question. You know, do you think this is uh, one race too many? Uh, like I say, he's been he's been, he's been busy this year. Yeah, yeah. I say he's he uh, ran in the trials and, and ran in the classics, and uh, you know, people sort of uh, raised the question. On what, you know, after the. Uh, Irish Derby, going, you know, heading to the uh, Grand Prix de Paris two weeks later. Um, was that the right thing to do with a horse like that? Well, I think he showed that in the Grand Prix de Paris and went on to show it again there in the uh, in the St. Ledger. He's got got great constitution. Uh, I think um, a lot of people agree that's what you want in a good horse, and um, he's got it in abundance. Well, their their likeness between the idea and 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 Hurricane is, is their constitution. Um, you know, two great horses in 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 what they've achieved this year. Uh, at the highest level, um, but their professionalism of how they handle it at home, you know, they, 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 they eat, sleep and exercise in, in, in both a very similar manner, um, both very professional exercise, um, but both, all like I say, they come back in, they do all the right things, they eat up well and, um, you know, bar obviously the unfortunate setback there just before the art trials there, um, and, and again, that's the constitution then, you give about this horses. A lot of other horses would take time. When you get an infection that he had, you know, they take time to get over it. As we see here this morning, um, you know, he's 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 met every target which I knew he had to after that setback. Um, he's met every target and it's just showing his wellness um, right the way through. Pleased with him this morning. Williams sat on him this morning, gave him his final blow, and uh, yeah, he. He was very happy with him, and so um, yeah, look, really looking forward to the weekend. As a physique, he's slightly he's slightly bigger than Hurricane Lane, um, so you know I feel that he was still uh, physically getting stronger in the spring. There, um, you know, we saw him in the two trials before the Derby, um, and you have to say on Derby Day, you know, he was he did what he did, but from since the Derby, he's as a physical just got stronger and stronger and, and I think you know we saw that in the King George taking on the older horses there in, in, in the fashion he did it. He's a, he's a, he's a, he's a man amongst the, you know in the three year old division he was very much the man amongst the boys there. Um, but uh, yeah, like I say I can't be any happy with him. Uh, it's a very exciting weekend again as I've mentioned there. The 100th running of the, uh, 
of the Ark and, and to have two horses in Hurricane Lane and um, Adia, you know, one as we know could potentially produce his own history there, being the first horse to uh, to win an, a St. Ledger in an Ark. And this horse, he's already done, you know, done his bit already this year in being the first horse in 20 years since uh, since the great Galileo to go and win a, a Derby and a, and a King George. And, uh, you know, to go into, uh, into the Ark this weekend with two horses like this is, is exciting for myself and the team, but most importantly, it's just great for His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and, 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 and Godolphin. Um, it's where we want to be, and uh, like I say, to have two horses at the, the forefront of the, the betting, it's uh, very exciting. And he's drawn 11 of 15, and, and some people would be concerned, you know, not concerned, but they would, would be happier drawn down in the single figures. Um, personally, I would say with the soft ground, um, it was predicted this weekend. I think the draw, it sort of, you can, it doesn't, it doesn't concern me, uh, and it doesn't concern William, you know. He's, uh, he's a horse that you can, he can be put wherever William feels comfortable to put him in a race. I, you know, as those gates open, we're just hit, William will be able to uh, assess where the pace is um, and, 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 and therefore ride his race from there on. Um, as I said, really similar to <laughs> exactly the same sort of words as Hurricane Lane. When, when, uh, when these jocks get on board and in that sort of ground and that sort of race and those conditions, you let the horses and the jockeys do the rest from there on. Um, game plans I sort of tend to put them out the window. They, 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 the guys know them so well, they know what their strengths are um, and, and where they need to be brought into play during the race.